Hello and welcome to the Full Stack Data Analyst Bootcamp. I'm so glad you've taken the decision to become a data analyst and I'm very happy for us to go through right from the beginning to the end of the course. In this course, you're going to master the most important skills that every data analyst is supposed to know to become industry ready data analyst. So let me take you through the course curriculum so that you get to know what you're going to learn in this course. In this course, our aim is to make you industry ready data analyst. Data analysts are the brain behind industry data, and that's what we're going to help you master in this course. We named this course Full Stack Data Analyst because we are giving you everything that you need to master to become a data analyst. In this course, you're going to have access to a full Microsoft Excel for data analysis. You're also going to have access to a full SQL for data analysis course. And you're also going to have access to a full data visualization course which is going to include the most critical data visualization tools that is Tableau and Microsoft Power BI. After that, there's also going to be a complete data storytelling and presentation skills, because after you analyze your data and draw insights from it, you need to present your findings to your stakeholders, and this is the most critical skills that people who are starting data analyst journey ignore, and they find it very difficult to get a data analyst job. Not only that, you're also going to have access to complete Python where you're going to learn how to program in Python, which is the easiest and most preferred programming language for a data analyst. Now, in the real world, it's quite difficult to work on a program statement that is having already prepared data set. Most of the time, you need to fetch the data from different sources, and it's most likely the data you're going to work on is going to reside on a certain web portal. And as such, you need web scripting skills to be able to scrap the data from the internet and then prepare and perform analysis on it. And that's what you're going to learn at the web scripting for data analysis session. Now in this course, our objective is to get you hands-on so that you get a feeling of what it takes to become a data analyst. As such, in the last month of this course, you're only going to do hands-on projects and case studies. And after that, we will take it one more step. We will participate in virtual internships from multinational companies, which is going to give you a practical hands-on of what it means to work on data analysis projects in the industry. You're going to have a 247 support where I will personally be there to assist you throughout the journey of this course. You will have a lifetime access to this course when you get in. There's going to be an interesting technology stack that we're going to master in this course. We will start mastering Microsoft SL, and then SQL, and then Python. For visualization, we will learn the two most critical tools for data visualization that every data analyst should master. We have divided this course into a period of five months. And within these five months, it's going to be a lot of concepts to master, a lot of exercises and projects, a lot of case studies, and virtual internship. In the first month, we will start mastering Microsoft SL. Microsoft SL is one of the most critical skills that every data analyst must master. If you're good at Microsoft SL, you'll be able to bring a lot of value into your team as a data analyst. And in this course, you're going to learn right from the beginner level to advanced concepts in Microsoft SL. We start by getting an understanding of Microsoft SL, such as how to professionally enter data in Microsoft SL, learning about functions and formulas, learning about how to format the data in Microsoft SL, adjusting worksheet layout and data, and then the various printing techniques that you're supposed to master in Microsoft SL. Not only that, we also start learning about the various charts that we can perform in Microsoft SL. How to adjust worksheet views in Microsoft SL, how to work with the multiple worksheets and workbooks, some important data management features in Microsoft SL, how to share your workbooks with your colleague and team for collaboration. Now, after we have a solid background in Microsoft SL, then we move on to an intermediate level of using SL for data analysis. And that happens in the week two. Over here, we will learn how to manage and analyze data in SL, sorting data in Microsoft SL, subtotals on symbols, filtering data, and not only that, we will move on to perform some advanced filtering, how to deal with duplicate data, and then some important and crucial concepts that a data analyst is supposed to master, which include the sum if, the count if, the D sum, the D average, the D max, and all those crucial concepts. Now, a data analyst is supposed to know how to use SL to perform some statistical analysis. And that is what we are going to learn in the week 3 of Mastering Microsoft SL for Data Analysis. Over here, there are a lot of statistical concepts that we are going to perform using SL. You cannot be a good data analyst if you don't know how to perform statistical analysis in Microsoft SL. And in this course, you are going to be a master of that. 
Now after we have a solid background in Microsoft Excel, we will move on to an advanced Microsoft Excel for data analysis. This is when we are going to learn data validation. In the real world, there is no program statement that will come with the clean data. You need to fetch the data, you need to clean the data to the point where you can analyze and draw some useful insight from it. And data validation is one of the crucial concepts to prepare your data to the point where you can analyze and draw insights from it. And that is what you are going to master in the week 4 of Mastering Microsoft Excel for Data Analysis. Now at the advanced level, we are also going to learn SL VBA for managing files and data. This is when we are going to learn SL as a programming language for performing some crucial analysis. We will learn how to focus on data using filters and then managing files using VBA. As VBA is one of the most crucial concepts that you are supposed to master, we will spend quite a time over here. We will move on to more advanced VBA concepts such as managing worksheets using VBA, managing some built-in functions using VBA, managing charts using VBA and then creating user forms with VBA. This is going to be an interesting concept and it's one of the most critical concepts that you are supposed to master as a data analyst. Finally, we are also going to learn how we can manage pivot tables using VBA. And all these are going to happen in the first month of the course. After that, we move on to the second month of the course. In the second month, we will start mastering SQL for data analysis. There is no way you can become a good data analyst without mastering SQL. And in this course, you are going to be a master of SQL for data analysis. You are going to master SQL right from the basics to advanced, learning how to query databases using advanced SQL techniques. Over here, we will start right from the basics of SQL and then move to the intermediate SQL and then to advanced SQL. At the beginner level, we learn some fundamental concepts that you are supposed to master as a data analyst. When we have a solid background in SQL, we move on to some intermediate concepts over here. This is when we get to master the concepts such as relationships in SQL, strings, numbers, date and time, aggregate, transactions, triggers, views and subsolates and then we build a crude application to solidify our concepts in SQL. Then after that, we move on to more advanced SQL concepts. Now, when you perform your analysis in SQL, you need to report your findings to the stakeholders and that's what you're going to do at this session. You will learn how to use SQL to report data, how to group your SQL results, how to merge data from multiple tables and then some advanced string concepts over here. After that, we also master some advanced SQL concepts such as SQL views, variables, how to use functions and then how to use procedures in SQL. In the fourth month, we make it a refresher week. It's possible there are some concepts that you are not able to finish within the past week and that's what you need to go back and finish them or some assignments or exercises that you are not able to finish or some projects that you are not able to submit. This is when you do all of them and then submit for the instructor to review and then give you feedback. After that, we move on to the third month. In the third month, we will start mastering data visualization, which is one of the most critical skills that you are supposed to master as a data analyst. Over here, we start by mastering the most critical ways of presenting our data visually to our stakeholders. We will learn how to communicate our findings to the stakeholders. As such, we will be mastering some visual communications and then practically the instructor will demonstrate it for you to see how these things are done in the real world. And then we start mastering the tools such as Tableau. Tableau is one of the most important tools that you are supposed to master when it comes to data analysis and being a full stack data analyst, you cannot miss this out. We go right from the beginner level till you master Tableau. You learn how to manage the various data sources and visualizations, how to manage tabular worksheets and workbooks, how to create some custom calculations and fields, how to analyze data in Tableau, how to perform some sorting and filtering data in Tableau, how to define groups and sets, and then creating visualizations in Tableau. We are not done yet. As I said, you need to master this tool to become an expert in, in performing data visualization. You're going to learn how to format tabular visualizations, how to annotate and format visualizations in Tableau, how to manage geographic data, how to create dashboards and actions in Tableau. And then there's going to be a Tableau assignment for you to practice and solidify your understanding in data visualization using Tableau. After you've mastered Tableau, we will then move on to Microsoft Power BI. When it comes to data visualization, Microsoft Power BI is one of the leading tools in the industry and it's quite likely you're going to work on one of these tools, either Tableau or Power BI. And as a full stack data analyst, we want to be at the advantage side by mastering both of these tools. So regardless of the industry or the company that you find yourself, you still have an upper hand.
Over here, there are quite a lot of critical concepts that we are going to walk you through, right from the beginner level to you master Microsoft Power BI. You will learn how to get data into Microsoft Power BI, how to modify and print a report, how to create a report with the visualizations, how to create dashboards in Power BI. We are not done yet. We move on again and then learn how to ask some most important questions when working with your data. You will learn how to share your data in Power BI, how to use Power BI mobile apps and then how to use Power BI desktop. Now, when you've managed these tools, that is Tableau and then Microsoft Power BI, then you learn data storytelling and then presentation skills. When you perform your analysis and draw insights from it, you need to present it to your stakeholders. But how do you do that? You can perform all the analysis on earth, but if you are not able to present it in a way that your stakeholders are going to understand and relate to it, your insights will become null and void. And you don't want your effort to go in vain. Your communication skills, your storytelling skills, and your presentation skills are most critical when it comes to data analysis and presentations, and that is what you are going to master at this session. Over here, the instructor will introduce you to some critical concepts and some storytelling techniques that we use in our day-to-day -day presentations of our data in the industry. You will learn the art of storytelling, you will learn the story structure, you will learn the story mechanisms, and then some other concepts that you're supposed to know as a full-stack data analyst. Now, when you're done with all these concepts, then we move on to the fourth month. In the fourth month, we start by learning more advanced concepts. That's when we will start learning programming. Over here, we will learn the most preferred and widely used programming language, which is Python. We are going to master Python right from the beginner level to advanced level. There are a lot of technology stacks that we are going to learn when it comes to Python. The various libraries and frameworks in Python is what makes it most preferred and widely used in the industry. And over here, we're going to master them. You will get hands-on with Pandas, Matplotlib, NumPy, Seaborn, SciPy, Anaconda, Google Colab, Protoly, ggplot, scikit-learn, Scrappy, Google Colab. And as we are going to perform some web scripting to get data from the internet, we're also going to need some robust web scripting libraries and frameworks over here. And that's when we will learn Scrappy, Request, Beautiful Soup, and Selenium. When you're going for a job as a data analyst, most companies will ask you if you have a programming background or if you have a programming knowledge and Python is the most preferred programming language for the data analyst and in this course, we're going to master it right from the beginner level to advanced level. In the first week of the fourth month, we're going to start with the introduction of Python. We start right from the basic as I said, from installing Python and then writing our first Python code. We learn concepts such as Python operators, Python flow control, and in the week 2, we start with Python functions and then Python global and local variables. In between that, there's going to be an assignment and projects for you to do. The instructor will first do it for you to see how it is done, and then you have your assignment and projects to practice on your own. We also learn how to work with files in Python, the various Python models, the various Python packages and libraries, and then the various data types in Python. After that, there's going to be an exercise for you to reinforce your concept that you have learned so far. In the week 3 and then week 4, we're going to learn the two most critical concepts in Python, that is NumPy and then Pandas. These are the two most critical frameworks that makes Python the most preferred programming language by data analysts in the industry. Under NumPy, there are a lot of concepts that we're going to learn as you can see. And then Pandas, we're going to spend quite an amount of time over here. There's also going to be projects and assignments for you to master your concept in NumPy and Pandas. Then we also learn how to use Python to perform some data visualizations. Again, we learn some crucial Python libraries for data visualization, which is Matplotlib and Seaborn. And then how to plot the different visualizations in Python. Now, before we go to the fifth month, we will chip in web scripting. As I said, in the real world, no problem statement is going to come with a clean data or data available for you to work with. It's likely you're going to have data to some extent, but most of the cases, you need to fetch the data from different different sources. And in most of the cases, your data is going to reside on a certain web page or a certain platform. And web scripting is a skill that you need to master in order to retrieve the data from the various web pages and platforms. And that's what you're going to master in this course. We will start by learning the various web scripting libraries, which includes Request, Beautiful Soup, Selenium, and Scrappy. After that, the instructor is going to perform it live for you to see how it is done in the various web pages. We we'll first do it on the Wikipedia, and then we we'll go to a bookstore, and then we we'll scrap the data from the bookstore for you to see how it is done, store it in a CSV file to the point that you can perform analysis on it. The instructor will first do it for you to see how it is done. And then we we'll move on to complex platforms like Amazon.com. 
you get to know the techniques of scrapping data from complex platforms like that and perform analysis on it further. Not only that, there's also going to be different platforms and different strategies that we're going to use over here. And that will mark the end of the fourth month. Then we move on to the last month, which is the fifth month. As I said, the aim of this course is to make you a full stack data analyst. And as a full stack data analyst, you need to be hands on. You need to get to understand how things work. You need to really get an experience of how to analyze data and draw insights from it and make a presentation of that. And that's what we're going to do in the fifth month. Over here, you're going to learn how to be hands on and beat your data analytics portfolio. There's going to be projects, case studies, and virtual internships. After you are done with your project and case study, and you submit for the instructor to check for you and then give you feedback for any improvement if necessary, after that, then you move on to participate in virtual internships. The instructor will guide you to find these virtual internships to gain a real world experience of how data analysis is done in the various companies. So you see, this is quite a comprehensive course and we are very much ready and excited to take you right from the beginning to the very end. So let's get started.